and welcome my name is miss multi console and welcome back to persona 5 we are gonna have a sleepover and i'm so excited we first need to gather the ingredients not entirely sure what we're gonna gather i mean of course i know we got we gotta get the pots but i don't know what we're gonna put in the pots maybe vegetables normally when you say hot pot i think of like vegetables and like nutritious stuff which would actually be quite a good meal for a bunch of teenagers but we will have to wait and see because i personally feel like no sleepover is complete without some kind of like dvd or either a dvd or a video game and lots of junk food you just can't have a good sleepover without those ingredients in my opinion <laughs> but this is gonna be really cool i can't wait to see our group bond and hang out as like just like being normal like normal teenagers i can't wait to see this this is gonna be really fun and i always get excited when they celebrate after they've taken down a target it always makes it feel just that much more satisfying and i'm actually really happy that we are celebrating because i didn't think we were going to celebrate after this one i thought that was just a one-time thing that we were going to have for kamashida and not for madarame so really excited about this okay let's talk to morgana and see what morgana says that Akechi guy seems pretty influential. Someday we'll make him eat those words though. Well, that would be nice. But let's forget about him for now and just focus on having fun. Come on, we need to prepare. Okay, we need to prepare. Can we put some nutrients in our plants? Hmm? Weren't you supposed to talk to the chief and borrow a pot? Yes, yes, I know. Stop rushing me. Look, I want to savour these moments. These moments are hopefully like what I will... Oh, look, look train i didn't know that was there you can train here i remember morgana mentioning that you could train in your bedroom actually i'll have to check that out i'll have to check that out at some point i wonder where our stove is they said we had a portable stove in our bedroom but i never i don't remember ever seeing anything like that in our bedroom but okay so let's go and talk to sojiro and see if he will help us out i'm sure he will i heard you're all having hot pot for dinner Yep, you would want to join us. No, Sotaro can't join us. No, as much as I think that would be cool and, you know, like, I would like to see that, that wouldn't be cool for teenagers to have a sleepover and, like, they're kind of like dad is there. I know Sojiro is not his dad but it's almost like his dad and that's just not right. No 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 I'm just gonna say I'm looking forward to it. As you should be, food always tastes better with friends. Oh it's so sweet. Her name was Anne right? She's a nice girl. She is despite her flashy looks. Why do you say that? Let's just say she is. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go, asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. I guess so. <laughs> I never thought of it like that, but I guess. Anyway, I should have a big pot somewhere around here. Does that mean Yusuke staying? Is that a yes? He didn't exactly clarify right there, did he? But he said for a little while, so... It's not going to be permanent when Yusuke does move in, I guess. So right, in the kitchen, let's go grab pots. It's a cabinet for kitchen supplies. I see a big yellow pot over there. Grab that. I think he's using it, actually. I don't think we can have that one. Whoa, look at the coffee. It's like sparkling. <laughs> it looks like it's sparkling. I found an old earthenware vessel. It should be big enough. Yay, we got a pot. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip, so I'll leave you be. I wanted to go shopping. <laughs> I wanted to do it. Why do I have to be the one that gets the boring old pot? <laughs> I'll be down here for a while though. Just be careful with the fire, okay? Are we cooking it here? I guess it would make sense that we're cooking it in the kitchen. Didn't they say we had a portable stove? I'm confused. And now... On to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. Oh man, it's the first time we've seen Makoto and Sai together because they're like sisters, I think. So this is just pretty much confirmed that they're actually family. It's really nice just to see them sitting down and watching TV and socializing. And yeah, it's going to be really cool to see how they interact with each other. Okay, so they're watching the Akechi show, the social studies trip that we had. Oh God, why wasn't Makoto there, I wonder? Maybe she picked something else. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. Oh, is this a different instance? Is this a different show? It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland. Oh, that sucks. I wonder who cooked it. But I'm relieved. 
A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. Hmm, Sai seems to be more like a mother than a sister. They've got to be sisters though, right? Sai isn't that old, right? I'm sure they're sisters. <laughs> School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Okay, so they are sisters, but Sai really does seem like her mum, doesn't she? Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Okay, so this is the same show. This is what we witnessed earlier. Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. Ah, come on! I just want to get on with the sleepover. I don't care about this right now. <laughs> Show me this later. <laughs> Let's just party. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Yeah, okay, okay. Stop lecturing us. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Yes, so the principal is breaking the law because he's manipulating your hearts, Makoto. Let that sink in. <laughs> Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Damn, Makoto has a lot of stress on her plate, it seems. It seems that she's being pushed into this. She has to study hard and go to a prestigious college. What would happen if she didn't? Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. Is it? Isn't that a bit sexist? Shouldn't it just be the same for everybody? I'm not sure how much truth there is in that statement. <laughs> I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. Why do they need to climb up the ladders so bad? Why do they need money so bad? They look like they're in quite a cozy little house. Are they struggling? <gasps> no. Get that phone. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's fine. So I get the impression that Sai is a workaholic and she's constantly working. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those phantom thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. Good old Ryuji! What do I want to do? You'll need to find that out on your own, Makoto. I'm sure you will come to some conclusion. I'm sure she will. I know she's like really conflicted, but she's gonna do something. She's gonna come to an agreement at some point. Oh, I can't eat another bite. Oh, I didn't even get to see them cooking it or anything. I really wanted to see them cooking it for some reason and actually like putting it all together and everything. I feel like we missed a portion because of that stupid cutscene. Hey, bring back my sleepover. <laughs> that was delicious, Lady Anne. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some t Oh, Morgana. Morgana's still trying to woo over Anne. Did Anne make it then? Uh, sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. Oh, no. Don't go to sleep already. That's no fun. Morgana, off the table. <laughs> What's going on? What's wrong, Yusuke? Why are they all looking at her? <laughs> Is Yusuke asleep, asleep too? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Oh, Yusuke's like really disappointed. <laughs> Bless him. Just leave it for next time, man. Oh, but he's disappointed. Give him his udon. A man needs his udon. <laughs> Udon's noodles, right? She's asleep already? Yeah, that was fast. And it also looks really uncomfortable. She's propping her head up with her arm. Like, she would get a cramp in her arm. How can you sleep like that? It'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. 
Okay, let's let us By sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know On? Yeah, they already seemed to know each other, didn't they? When we met them. Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. Oh yeah, that's right. They went to school together, didn't they? What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. That's surprising. You would have thought that Anne would have been the type to have loads of friends. She looks like the popular type. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. Oh, that's really sad. Just because she grew up overseas. And what's wrong with her looks? I think she's pretty. <laughs> Maybe they're jealous. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. Ah, Yusuke is such a gentleman, isn't he? He's got the right frame of mind, for sure. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. <laughs> okay. Not everybody wants to tell, though. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. Oh, I want to know. I want to know. I bet it won't tell us. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. Has he told us this before? I can't remember. I'm not sure if he's ever spoken about this before, but if he has, it's a nice refresher. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I can make things easier for her. So he actually wanted to track the track team stuff for real then. He wanted that to be his career. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? Nah, I bet his mom doesn't think that either. <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. Well, at least he's got a good mom. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. That's true, Starkin has it the worst. I don't really think ours is as bad though. <laughs> is this about his past? Ours is just like... I was seems like really small and just stupid in comparison. Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. Oh, they haven't heard? Oh, it looks like we're gonna tell them. I wonder what their reaction will be. Damn brat! I'll sue! Hey! Wait a minute! That guy looks familiar. He looks like that guy who was on the TV. The director part, you know, in the police. Oh, it's really hard to explain. The SIU director in the Psy part where Psy goes and Psy was like talking to him and this guy was on the TV. I remember because I said he looked like One Punch Man and Reno from Final Fantasy VII and I remember saying that so, oh, that's interesting. I didn't recognise him at first. Damn. So it's him. If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But... I just did as I was told! Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? Ah, oh, so he blackmailed her. I don't remember this part. If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? I really hope that this guy is one of the villains that we take down, like he is one of the, you know, the palace keepers and we change his heart. That would be amazing. That would be so cool. Huh? But... This is bullshit. You fell on your own. This is bullshit! <laughs> Shut up. You're done for. No, you You're are. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. 
Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Well, yeah, I guess our main character did have quite a bad past as well. But it's like, it's not, I just don't think it's as bad as the Kamishida case and the Madarame case because it was like Kamishida was directly targeting Ryuji like he was literally hitting Ryuji Madarame was literally stealing Yusuke's work in our case it's like we wasn't directly affected for a long period of time it was literally just like you know the whole cop stuff and you know having a criminal record and all that I know that is bad but it just doesn't seem as bad as the other characters in the story. Oh, it's you, sir. Oh, he must have quite some power. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground. Oh no, she lied. It's like, like it's either she keeps quiet and then she's the one in trouble or you know the boy takes the plummet the plummet like us the main character that really sucks and this man got injured how could you do that i would have such a conscience i just i could not do that i couldn't do i just don't think i'd have it in me to do that i've got way too much of a conscience i dwell on things it's as she says also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. Why is he like red all around his eyes as well? Oh, it's because he's drunk, isn't it? Oh, duh, he's drunk. You understand <laughs> what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. Sucks so bad. I really hope that we have the opportunity to take that guy down. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. Pretty much. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. Yeah, but I think she was like blackmailed. I think he would have done something to her if she had have said something or done something or spoke up about it. I think he would have done something to her. But still. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? Yes, Morgana has just the right idea. That's exactly what I was thinking. Let's go get him. <laughs> I bet we have no idea. I don't know. I don't remember. It was pretty dark. Let's say it was pretty dark. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. Yeah. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. Maybe Morgana was the bold man. <laughs> Now I doubt that, because he was on TV. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Yeah, I'm sure we'll do it eventually. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to get revenge, his past record won't go away. Oh, that really sucks. Oh, that's true, isn't it? Oh, man. If we can at least change his heart, at least there will be no other victims. I can't stand it. This world is so messed up. It really is. There's something really wrong with this world. In the world this game's set in anyway. The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want. To a degree, I guess you could say that some parts of this is real, like is actually what it's like in real life too, which is also really sad. And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Yep, they just make it worse. They just abuse their power. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. <laughs> true, true. You've all taught me so much. When are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, Anne's awake. Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? I'm not surprised. Ryuji's quite loud. Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. 
Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Okay, that's weird. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. I hope that's not some kind of like hints or something like all the characters knew each other or something like that. It just sounds a little bit strange when Anne said that. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Aww. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. Not yet, anyway. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. <laughs> yeah, they totally fit right in. Morgana fits in in that regard. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? Ryuji's actually pretty good at cheering people up. I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. <laughs> we'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Okay, this is really odd. Look, I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating Mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. That sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. All right, I'm ready. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! <laughs> you can say that again. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage after all. There's nothing we can't accomplish. Everybody's so happy and so enthusiastic right now. It's really nice to see. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Yeah, yeah. Leave it to me. We got to act accordingly Whoa, as what's the leader. This late? Oh, apparently. I guess now is a good time to call it for the night. Oh, we're actually all going to sleep now. This sucks. I wanted a movie or I wanted them to like do an activity together, not just eat and then go to sleep. That sucks. <laughs> Maybe I was expecting too much. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. Yay. So is Anne and Ryuji going home then? That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. <laughs> What kind of nickname is that? Mm, I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. Do we even have a bath here? There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Yes! Do we get to go in a bath with Yusuke? I'm excited for that. <laughs> oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Anne? Oh, nice. So all three of the guys are going to go together. I don't think Anne will, because Anne's got to go to like a separate one, right? But that would be so cool, just seeing all the dudes together, like chatting and chilling in a hot tub. Really cool. You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. Yeah, I didn't think she would. Oh, Morgana might go into the hot spring as well. All right, off she goes. We need some girlfriends for her to... Damn it. To go with. I need to turn back into a human soon. <laughs> Morgana, you just want to see Anne in the hot tub. In the hot springs. I can't let her get taken by someone else. Oh my god, Morgana. <laughs> I wonder what Morgana's going to be like when we get more females in the party. Is he going to be like that with all of them? Or is he exclusively Anne only? <laughs> I would like to see that. Time to go to the hot springs. Actually, before we do this, I'm actually going to stop the video here for today. Ah, oh, huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. And you guys can see what these guys get up to in the hot springs next time. There's an old man in the background messing with the taps. Tell him off. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time. Shoot, shoot stars. Didn't even get to